everybody welcome back to the channel i hope all of you are having a wonderful weekend in today's video we're going to talk about a stock that is ready to go crazy on monday and why y'all should keep it in your watch list i'm also going to be answering some of you guys' questions for those of y'all who dropped those stocks of interest in the comment section of last night's video now before we get do not forget to demolish that like button on your way in here, right? So let's let's begin right off the bat. Um, today is Saturday, therefore we're not going to go too deep on the spy. I explained that in the last video. I gave some tips on there for the beginners, so definitely check that out if you haven't watched it already. We're gonna dive straight into the point. The stock that is looking pretty good for Monday. That stock is Snap. All right, now Snap, I like it because of, first of all, we got, we got to look at the daily chart, all right? We got to look at it. Number one, it crushed earnings, crushed earnings on the 4th of February. It didn't quite do a follow through, like some more continuation over here. There was massive volume in the beginning and then the volume just died all the way down, right? And right now, I want to share snapchat with y'all because of this if you go on the four hour and you zoom in right here you can see that there is a bearish left shoulder a head and a right shoulder right over here and the neckline for this was right there which started breaking down on thursday and then on Friday, it really broke right through it, all right? So so two things can happen on Monday slash Tuesday, all right? Two things can happen. The first thing that can happen is, keep in mind, there is that daily gap right there. It's huge. And it drops all the way down towards like $25 exactly, right? Now, how are we going to get there? Well, this is what I think is going to happen. First and foremost, we may see a massive drop all the way down to $30 first on Monday. And then what happens after that is that we may see a dead cat bounce like this all the way up to retest the neckline at exactly $35. This is from Monday to Tuesday. And then for the rest of the week, we may see something like this where we go all the way down to reclaim $25, all right? So definitely keep Snapchat on your watch list for that potential move, all right? Now, this play right here is very, very similar. It looks exactly the same as another play that we were looking at last week. And that one was, we were looking at Netflix. I saw Netflix first and Netflix did this thing. Um, if you look on the five, Right, and then we just if you just look at what happened throughout the last week. So what really happened with Netflix is this. This is the short watch list. And I saw Netflix break right through that neckline. Again, this is exactly what Snapchat is showing. We got the left shoulder over here. We got the head over here, which kind of peaked. I think this is Tuesday. And then we got the right shoulder, which forms when this stock gap Wait, no, this is, this is Monday. This right here, that day is Monday. And this is Thursday, all right? And this is what happened on Thursday. I warned everybody for that specific move right here. It kind of took a sweet time when it did that. Um, it, it did something a little bit weird. It didn't quite go all the way up to 375 to retest it on Thursday. But it dragged its feet and then did it on Friday before falling back down all the way down. Now, I don't think this drop is done yet. I am leaning a little bearish on the markets for next week. And that would kind of like, that would kind of uh, be aligned with Snapchat because Snapchat tend to follow the market as well. And I think that we go down. So definitely watch this stock for Monday, for that move, all right? Now, let's talk about you guys' stocks of interest. The first one that we have to talk about, that one is, that one is CLF, all right? Now, CLF, 
broke out of this falling wedge right here and it looks like it got some steam. The last video that I've made was on NUE going parabolic. Um, NUE and CLF are both steel companies and this looked like it got room to run. It's not looking quite tired yet. As you can see that volume is just going up and up and up and it's not showing any time and uh, any sign that it's slowing down anytime soon. And if you look at the much bigger, let's look at the weekly. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, the look, the weekly is looking ridiculously strong. Like it could pop again to thirty dollars before it starts like falling back down. Um, it's very very dangerous to try to short like right there, especially when it's right next to these previous, like where these short sellers are. There are some short sellers over here, in this inverted hammer all right there's probably some more over here just showing that resistance and i think they're about to get taken out so steel companies are gonna make a massive move my thoughts and opinions on on them i'm not changing all right watch this thing for a long and if you look at the 15 it's kind of setting up for a massive gap up over the weekend it's right there all right, it's setting up for it. So it could open up at $27 and then run. So that's my honest thoughts on CLF. The next one that we're going to address is UPS. And UPS, this one, <laughs> it's been a long time since I've talked about it. It's been a long time. I've been answering questions about UPS for a while. All of my drawings on here, it kind of did exactly that. Um, what I told y'all in those videos like two weeks ago, came to pass it dropped they just kept dropping in the middle of that channel and then once they filled the gap at 202 which is right over here right you see that gap right there it bounced and it's just consolidated sideways right here all right and i don't have an opinion on where it's gonna go unless it gets out of that zone so until it gets out of that zone, the only people who are making money on this are those who open up um, iron condors. So if it just keeps chilling over here and doesn't follow the market at, at all, like it's just going to consolidate in this region. Eventually it's going to make up its mind. I'm not touching it. Like I think the opportunity is, is gone. Like the major opportunity for it was when I was talking about it up here for the shorts. Right now it's just chilling. So, so just let it chill. And just look at other opportunities in the market right now um the next stock that we're going to talk about in today's video we're going to look at mu and mu looks quite disgusting um it looks it doesn't look good at all um this it looked good previously and then there was a bearish harami and then we had friday in the friday sell-off and right now it's just not looking the greatest there's some gaps at the well this gap got filled already let's look at the weekly and let's see how the weekly is looking the weekly is looking like a double top that's very dangerous um like really really dangerous we could see these levels hit right there especially like that's that's usually what happens after a double top you have one top over here and then we have another top over here and then we could just keep on dropping and maybe earnings might just do it for like mu it might just cause the stock to tank further towards 50 bucks so the weekly is not looking good be careful if you're trying to dip by this thing that's that's really all i gotta say about mu um the last one that we're gonna talk about y'all a lot of y'all have been asking me about sophie or sofi and uh sofi is bearish in my opinion like Immediately I see it. It's, it's bearish. It's been bearish since earnings like it had earnings before It popped a little bit and then all of these gains got taken out and it looks like it wants to go down towards eight bucks Maybe even six dollars Before we see another bounce I think I think it's gonna drop to six dollars. We'll see. We'll see again I could be wrong, but the way that I'm seeing the charts right now It's telling me that we might go to like at least eight dollars and then maybe six dollars right that's my honest thoughts on the stock and that is the end of the video again do not forget to annihilate the like button for the youtube algorithm as always it helps the channel a lot and allows more people 
to get this knowledge as well also if you are new to the channel and you haven't done so already definitely click on subscribe and click on the notification bell along with all notifications that way you don't miss out on future uploads if you would like to be part of a private discord community you can find that as the first link in the description of the video below if you are not following us on social media you can find me at paul guma and i've had a knowledge lab on instagram and on twitter and lastly if all of this is brand new to you if you're interested in getting started in the stock market i left some very basic step-by-step -step directions in the description of the video below step one to step three it only takes about 10 to 15 minutes for you to get signed up with all the tools you need to start trading immediately. You can also get two free stocks valued up to $1,850 right after signing up with Webull using the third link in the description of the video below. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, my name is Paul Guma with the Analogy Lab where we trade patterns and patterns only. And I will see all of you in the next video which will be released at exactly 5 30 p.m